Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Hey family, you know how you have those great finds that don't mean anything to anyone else but you, just those little things that really make you happy? Well, that has been one of these uh, last 48 hours, I guess you could say. So first, I was at Home Depot picking up some things and I decided to walk by the clearance rack and a vendor was there and she was taking these big pots of marigolds and she was marking them $2.50 and she was putting them on the shelf. So I kind of stood there and looked at her and then she said, you know, these just came in this morning, but the truck driver made a mistake and dropped something on top of them and broke some of the branches. So her boss told her to mark them down to $2.50. And then she told me that if I wanted them, she would mark them down to $1.50. And yeah, she marked them down to $1.50. So they did have a few broken branches, but um, yeah, I just came home, watered them really good, and they are excellent. So another great find that I have are these two obelisks. I found both of these at the Habitat for Humanity re-up store. If you don't know what the re-up store is, these are stores that are run by Habitat for Humanity. And if you are looking for anything that has to do with a house, you can find it at the Habitat for Humanity stores. Habitat for Humanity stores have everything from vintage to antique to modern day anything. I'm talking electrical outlets, lighting, um, specialized light bulbs, countertops, china cabinets, um, couches, chairs, tile, wood flooring, um, dinnerware, <laughs> paint, sinks, um, bedroom sets, you name it. If it goes in a house or came out of a house, you can find it at Habitat for Humanity. Now, usually their prices are really, really good, but with all things, whenever you have a new arrival, the prices are a little high. So this obulus, this is my hand. <laughs> That's as high as I can reach my hand. This obulus is over seven feet tall. It is iron. This isn't one of those plastic or coated pieces. As you can see, these pieces are screwed in. This is a solid piece. I picked it up for $49.99. Now I've seen these online from a hundred and, what was it, 119 to about $231. I don't usually pay this much for things that I get second hand, but it's a seven and a half foot obelisk. I mean, and it was a new arrival. There was only two of these. I went back the other day to see if the other one was still there and someone snagged it already. So if I can pay $49.95, for a gorgeous piece of artwork that I can actually use in my garden and help out a charity, then I'm gonna pay the $49.95. This one, which is also iron, this one is wrought iron, was $39.95. This one is about five feet tall. And once again, if I can pay for it and walk out the door and help a charity, I'm gonna pay it. If you don't know what Habitat, Habitat for Humanity is, it's an organization that builds homes for families that in 
normal circumstances wouldn't be able to afford to buy a home in today's market. These are not people who have no income or just laying around being lazy. These are people who are actually working, they are employed, they have jobs, but they just cannot afford to save enough for a down payment, closing costs, etc., to afford a house in the US market, housing market. So I check their stores at least once a month to see what's in there that I can find. And, um, you know, like I said, it's helping out a nonprofit that is helping out our communities. But once again, like I said, these are an excellent buy, excellent condition, strong material, beautiful artwork, and they are going to look gorgeous, gorgeous in my garden. So you guys check out your Habitat for Humanity stores. A lot of times I hear people saying they don't have vintage markets or thrift stores in their area, but you know what? I think there's a Habitat for Humanity store in every state. Once again, they are called Re-Up, R-E-U-P stores, Re-Up. You guys excuse my mess but I am um, already starting to box stuff up for fall and rainy season I've already started taking the cushions and stuff off of the chairs and I'm gonna box them up and put them in the shed and only leave what's under here pretty much to sit out in that way I don't have to worry about covering things and pulling things in and out but another cute little thing that I found is just this little piece of artwork that I am going to hang over my gardening table over here. I thought that was really cute. And this was only $5 and some change at the Goodwill. But very cute, metal and wood. I love it.